Was she talking about leaving town? About well, she was. Stuff? She talked about not staying here, mm -hmm. but she didn't come out and say, I'm leaving tomorrow. I went over to talk to her last night for a little while because I couldn't sleep, and I called her and I said, are you still awake? I said, can you borrow Grandpa's car and come over? Because she would come over late at night and visit with the kids and me on the computer. Mm -hmm. And just this last couple weeks, she has, or since Travis's death, um, she has been the best relationship we've had in our whole life. And I said, maybe this death has made her see that life is short and you have to, you know, you can't, you can't be this way and, and it's changing her. So, so, you know, the last, the last few weeks have been, I mean, I didn't spend a lot of time with her, but I talked to her more than I have ever talked to her since she left the house at 18. Um, she told me she didn't want to stay here long. She was going to leave. She did tell me that she was going to go down to um, Monterey for a few days, but she didn't tell me when. She said she was going to go down there and visit some friends and stop and see my um, stepdaughter in Hollister. What was the urgency for her to leave, like, soon? I don't know. I didn't know she was leaving. I did not know she was leaving today. And your husband mentioned something about her, like, not going to work and quitting her job. She didn't she quit her job. She got upset because some, uh, like, a police officer or something called her work for some reason. Somebody called her. Nervous. She told me that somebody called her yesterday and wanted to question her about the break-in at my mom and dad's house. She did tell me that, and she said to them, why don't you want to talk to my grandma and grandpa, because it was their house, and she did tell me that, but no mention of anything else. I mean, I don't, I don't know if that scared her, and I don't know. I know she bought a gun, which they probably already found the gun. Yeah, yeah. she and it's registered and everything, so yeah. there's nothing wrong with the gun. So. She told me she, she was scared when Travis died. She said, Mom, I was at his house all the time. She cleaned his house. She spent a lot of time. In fact, Travis was supposed to come up here, and they were going to go over to the Oregon coast. And and when did she, when did she tell you about that? Um, well, it was after he died. No, it was before he died. She told me that he was coming up. In fact, it was last last weekend. I think she said this is the weekend that Travis was supposed to come up, and, and we were going to do things. They were going to go to Crater Lake, and they had a book, thousand things to see before you die. And and her and Travis were doing a lot of those things together. They went to the Grand Canyon and they went all these places together. So, so I didn't know she was leaving today. I She told me she was going to go down to visit, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe that phone call scared her. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe she did do it. I don't know. I just cannot well, even imagine her doing it. I can't either. You know, Joe is a very intelligent person. She Go is. look at the books that she brought to her she house. Is. I mean, she's got all these books that I would not even think about reading, you know, and she's smart, and how could someone... I, I understand. She's she's extremely intelligent, and, and the more I've talked to her over the, over the last month and a half, I, I know she's intelligent. Um, you know, and she, in I fact, she gave us a hard time because... I never went to college, and she kept telling me, "Mom, you need to, you need to read, you need to do this, you need to better your life." And I don't know. I just, I can't even imagine. And my God, I can't. I just can't even think about it. Unfortunately, the the evidence that we have is completely convincing to me. Well, I mean, we have everything from uh, her fingerprints at the. At the scene of the crime. Well, I know she has her, fingerprints are there. Her DNA, her uh, uh, things like her hair, you know, things like well, that. Well, you know she spent time with him, though. Yeah. So, does that prove that she killed him? She cleaned his house. Yeah. The she evidence that we have is more than just that. It's more than just that. I mean, you don't leave a fingerprint in blood. Oh. Okay. Alright, so it's... Well, why would she do something like that? I don't know, and, and that's what I was trying to... Just snap to. or what? I don't know, and then how could she come back here and be normal? And then when she, her friends called her and told her that he died, she totally freaked out, like she knew nothing about it. I mean, how can somebody do that? How? I can't, I can't even... I can't, can't think of it, how anybody could do that. And, and that's why I wanted her explanation, but she just absolutely refused to, to tell me the truth. 